have not one, but two surprise fish for you guys today that you are gonna absolutely love. These are gonna be fan favorites by far on the channel. Big turning point for the channel today because these two fish are gonna be featured a lot because they love to eat and they're really, really cool. I am excited to show you what they are, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna be putting them in the saltwater mini pond or if I should put them in my 55 gallon tank in my room. The saltwater mini pond is in harmony right now. Fish, the eels, the shark. The shark was actually just swimming around just a second ago, now he's in the rocks. But everything is doing so well in all the aquariums, all the tanks, and the big pond here, guys. Everything's doing fantastic. All the fish are following me around because they think I'm feeding them. Every time they, every time I come out here, the fish think I'm feeding them. And they want to literally eat my hands off. They want to eat my hands off. Those fish are nuts, dude. They actually psychotic. The amount of money I spend in tilapia is unheard of, guys. Even the panther grouper is starting to come out and hand feed, which is really, really epic. Now, speaking of the 55-gallon tank, I mentioned it a little bit at the end of the last video. Bad news is the cut fish, the flamboyant cuttlefish, passed away last week, guys. He's not, he's no longer in my aquarium. I was so sad to see it happen, but I mentioned to you guys, every time I showed the cuttlefish and how well he was doing, he was thriving in that tank. He was actually pretty much, he was actually a full-grown flamboyant cuttlefish. They do not get big, so he was already full-grown, and they only live two years. So imagine, he probably only had months left to live, so that's why he lived the remainder of his days in my 55-gallon tank, and he was phenomenal in there. One of the coolest sea creatures in the world by far. So I'm so happy we got to enjoy him for these for the last couple months. He was amazing on this channel and he is going to be supremely missed. So before I actually unbox these fish and put them either in the mini pond or my tank, I wanted to ask you guys, should I get not a flamboyant cuttlefish this time, although they're really cool. They just have such a really short lifespan so I can't really enjoy them with you guys for too long. Should I get one of the like Australian like big time cuttlefish? The ones that they get like a foot long, like they're big. Let me know by dropping a like on this video if I should make it happen. You guys know me, I will make it happen. If you guys want it, I will do it. I don't care if I have to fly to Australia, buy it, and then fly home. Let me know by dropping a like on this video. That would be sick, especially if I could even put him in here. If he's big enough to go in here or in there, can you imagine? That would be incredible. That is just something to think about while we're unboxing these fish. Now, just so you guys know, everything in here is doing good too. I don't show the freshwater too often, but look how big the catfish has gotten. He's a monster now. And even my guy, the snapping turtle, you guys haven't seen him in quite a bit. I haven't shown him too often, but he's doing fantastic in here as well. That's just a quick update for you. Now let's get into unboxing some awesome fish. You guys know when I'm bringing this thing out, it's gonna be a good fish. Now this fish you have seen before. It's nothing new, the first fish. I have two fish, total of two fish. The second one, you guys are gonna freaking fall in love with instantly. The first fish you have seen before already on the main channel. I brought him over to my house because it's the best place for him. So we're gonna put that down and we're gonna just dump him. He's in this bucket right here. He's in the OG dolphins bucket. You know, this bucket carries some very valuable things. So I'm gonna dump him in the white bin so you guys can get a good look at him and then we're gonna put him in my tank. I need some dope names for this dude because because he's a staple. His kind is a staple on the Bars Buzzing channel. Goes by the name of Sponge. This guy needs his own name, so drop him in the comments right now, because he is gonna be a staple on the channel. We're gonna do a lot of cool feedings with this guy. Here we go. Here he comes, guys. Look at that. Look at that little dude. That is, that is right there, a red anglerfish or frogfish. I don't know why on the websites, they're called giant angler. It's giant anglerfish. So that is what we have here. He's gonna get so much bigger so quickly. These guys grow at a rapid rate, like an inch a week. It's crazy. So he looks really small right now. As you can see, look at him. Look how tiny he is compared to my hand. Such a cool fish though, like such a cool fish. And he walks on feet. Like he'll literally walk on, on my hand. Like they have feet. So he walks around the tank. It's really, really cool thing to see. So this is the first surprise Fish. The second one's the second one you guys are also gonna fall in love with but one, once we get to feeding this guy We got to call him out by name. So go drop the names in the comments. Look how dope he is. Let's get him in the tank He's gonna look so good in there now guys look how good he looks in the Sun when the real natural light is hitting his skin He looks fantastic really really cool his colors get so much brighter when there's a nice light So in the tank I have a light which is gonna look really good now Let's get this guy in there just so we can enjoy him swimming around in that tank now guys We're gonna go ahead and put him in the 55 gallon tank. He's gonna do awesome in here because because the cuttlefish is no longer in here, right away we're gonna start loading this thing up with badass fish. Only badass fish that are awesome. And this is a great start. This is a, the ultimate badass fish because he'll eat anything that he can fit in his mouth. Double the size of his body he can swallow. It's absolutely insane. He looks phenomenal in here with that light hitting his skin. He looks great. He blends in really nice with the purple rock, so I'm sure he's gonna be hiding in there a lot. Now, bag number two, guys. This fish is gonna be a fan favorite. Are you ready for this? You guys have been begging me, asking me so many times to get this guy. And I I saw one at the store and I'm like, this
this thing is the cutest thing in the world. I need to get him. I'm just debating. Let me know in the comments your opinion on this once you see him. If I should put him in the mini saltwater pond or if I should leave him in the 55 gallon. For now, I'm gonna put him in the 55 gallon, but let me know in the comments if you guys think I should move him to the saltwater mini pond because I think he's just small enough. Like he's just a little bit too small to put in there. So I'm gonna maybe wait till he grows just a hair to put him in the mini pond. But let me know your opinion in the comments. So here we go. This little dude, look at this little baby dog face puffer. He's so small, dude. He's the smallest puffer I've ever seen. He's tiny, dude. He looks so cool. And you guys have been begging me for so long to get a puffer fish for the channel. We finally have our first puffer fish for the channel. And he's a baby golden gray dog face. He's so cute. Imagine if I found this little dude, but a golden puffer. I need a golden puffer fish on this channel, guys. A little yellow, bright yellow golden puffer fish. I would pay easily 300 bucks for one that big. Easily, because they're so cool. So I'm going to keep my eyes peeled for those golden puffers. But let's get this guy in here so you guys can really get, the, get a good look at his size and how cool he actually is. Look how small he is, guys. Yeah, I'm not going to put him in the 55. Oh my God. God. I'm not gonna put him in the mini pond just yet. He's so small. Look at it. Look at him compared to, compared to my finger. He's tiny, dude. He's not even, he's like half the length of my index finger. He's so small, but he's so cute. I freaking love him. We need names for this guy too, dude. He's sick. I think you put him in the tank for now. All right, I'm gonna put him in the tank for now. Jack, fish guy Jack behind the camera, fish guy Hack. He says, put him in the, put him in the tank. So as you can see, he's got a really nice gray color with some black spots, but those yellow eyes and those yellow fins and tail really made me want to get this guy. He's absolutely gorgeous. Cutest thing in the world. You got every time you see a baby puffer, you gotta capitalize on it. You gotta get the baby puffers. First one on the channel, I'm absolutely excited for. Let's get this guy in the 55 gallon tank. All right, so we're gonna scoop up our brand new puffer here and get him in the tank. He is so small. This little tiny net is so miniature, and he's and he still looks like he's small in this net. It's crazy. So this so this little dude is going in the tank. There he is. He looks fantastic. He's gonna be swimming around here like crazy. Now I'm gonna keep a very sharp eye on him for the next couple hours because if I see that anglerfish going after him, he's just small enough that the anglerfish may be able to stuff him in his stomach. So we don't want that to happen. So we're gonna keep an eye on him. If I have to move him, I will, but I'm also gonna catch some glass minnows and throw a bunch of them in this tank. So the anglerfish is definitely occupied with those things. And instead of going after our brand new puffers. Oh, that was crazy. Look, it's gone. That was crazy. Oh my God. That's why it's key to get the glass minnows, guys. <laughs> Holy cow, let's give him, just try to give him one more. I tried to get the smallest one in the bucket, but oh my God, he's gonna eat this one too. He's gonna eat this one too, dude. Oh, you missed it. Look at the starfish. The starfish wants to eat it. The starfish wants to eat it, dude. <laughs> See, he wants to eat it head first. That's so crazy. So drop some names in the comments because we got two awesome fish today that are gonna be staples on this channel. Guys, two new fish, two epic fish, not just any fish. These two, I mean, talk about a banger today, an angler fish and a puffer. That's a banger. I hope you guys enjoyed the new fish. I hope you guys really like the new fish. They're gonna be content machines in the next coming videos with them feeding, with them seeing how they swim around, how they react with each other in here. It's gonna be a really, really cool thing to see. Now also, remember, if you guys wanna, if you guys wanna see me get one those Australian cuttlefish. I'm about to drop a like on this video and I'll make it happen. See you guys in the next one. Peace.